Hi everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. Now each month over on the Patreon page, I invite my members to send through a soap design that they would like to see me make here on YouTube and they will also get a free bar of that soap sent to them once it is cured. Now this month, Katrina from Big Shed Soap sent me a picture of one of her soaps that she had made and she asked if I could recreate it and I thought, why not? I will leave some links to her business page down below and go and check her out because she has some really sweet designs on her Instagram channel. But for now we're going to go and make our unicorn dreaming soap using monkey farts as our fragrance. Let's go! Alright so we are all set and ready to do this soap. My oils have come down to room temperature as has my sodium hydroxide and distilled water solution. So we're going to mix those two together. We're going to use the stick blender to bring it to a light emulsion before splitting it out for some colours. Okay, so we are all mixed up and it's now ready to split out for some colours. In this one I have some chambray which is from My Micro Obsession. I'm going to go about half a jug for now. In this one here I have some fuchsia pink which is from Heirloom Body Care and again I'm going about half a jug. And then also from Heirloom Body Care I have some twilight which is a really gorgeous purple. And again going about half a jug. Um, I might just pour a little bit more in that pink. I seem to have a bit more purple and blue. And then into my big bucket, once we get all that scooped back up in, so we don't get too much mess, I am going to add in some titanium dioxide. All right, I'm going to give these a quick mix with the stick blender, and then we're going to stir in our fragrance. All right, so here is our fragrance. As mentioned at the beginning, I am using Monkey Farts. It does have a little bit of vanillin in, but that titanium dioxide should be enough to combat any discoloring there. Um, it's got a very, very strong banana smell. And then there's also bits like strawberry, um, there's a bit of vanilla. I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of kiwi in this one as well. I am a bit concerned that this one is going to rice because it's gone that funny milky colour. But we'll see what happens when I start hand stirring this in and we'll see if we need to get that stick blender in. And by the looks of things... It is ricing just a little bit. Now for those that have never seen ricing, this one is a very, very light ricing. But you can see on the um, spatula there, there's some bits which are just a little bit lumpy in here. So this really isn't a bad case of ricing, but it is still there. So what I'm going to do is clean that spatula off, get the stick blender and just give that a quick pulse because it's so light that that stick blender will be able to very, very quickly emulsify all that back in. All right, so it really didn't need that much of a mix with the stick blender just to get that all in there and get rid of that little bit of ricing. I tend to find the fragrance oils will rice if it gets that sort of milky look when you pour it into the soap. Um, it doesn't, doesn't always mean it's gonna happen, but you know, nine times out of ten, if it gets that milky look as I pour in, I know I'm going to have that little bit of ricing in there. All right, we've got our stick bender cleaned out, and it's now time to just start getting this poured before we get too set up. All right, so for my pour, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this bucket here. Now, this um, container, it looks dirty, and it's because it's what I use to actually mix my oil or melt my oils down in the microwave because my new buckets don't fit in the microwave. So I have to melt all the hard oils in that red one and then pour them into my bigger bucket. But I am going to use that one to do my pour, to pour into the mould. What we're going to do is got all that scraped off. I'm going to start by pouring in a good part of that white and then what I'm going to do is on the side hopefully because this is really thickening up we are actually going to change because this is too thick I was going to pour them one on top of the other but that's not going to work this one is accelerating on me and I really just want to get it in the mold now so let's get all this poured in here pour some more white mix that up, pour the rest of these colours in and then I'll grab the mould.
Right now I've got that in there, I'm going to actually give that a bit of a stir. Hopefully it doesn't muddy it up too much. We are going to go and grab the mould, get that off there. Alright, so here's my mould. I'm going to just get that in there as best as I possibly can. So what a naughty, naughty fragrance that one was. I've actually wanted to soap with monkey farts for years and I've always bought it and then just used it in other projects. And now I know why <laughs> I've always put it off. I must have just known that it was going to be a very, very naughty fragrance. We've had that rising, we've had accelerating. It does smell really good. It is very, very strong. And I do hear from others that it does hold up well in soap. So that is going to be a good thing. Now with my spoon, I'm not really got anything in mind for my top. I just want bits of curly wisps to make it look like a unicorn mane on the top. So I've almost got to the end of there. And then we'll go and grab the embeds. All right, before I put the embeds on, I am going to put some biodegradable holographic glitter across the top. I want this to go on so it doesn't actually stick to the ears. So we'll do that first and we'll get plenty on there because, of course, unicorns need that bit of sparkle. Okay, and here are the little embeds. Now, I showed you in this week's behind the scenes video, which I will leave a link to up in the top right hand corner, how I made the little ears and the horns. And then I've also just made some little flowers to go on the top as well. So, what I'm going to do is just pop my tray down there, and hopefully, I can kind of get the sort of positioning of everything right. We might start with the horn going in the middle here. And then I am going to grab my two little ears and we're going to put one on either side like so. And I'm thinking to do the little flowers, I'm going to need to take my gloves off so I can get a better feel. All right, so I have just taken my gloves off and I've also brought you down for a slightly different view so you can see what I am doing. And all I'm going to do is take my little flowers and just put a couple, whoops, around. I'm using my little skewer here to pick them up. Whoop. I'm just popping them into the soap. Whoop. And that ooh, will be just perfect, I think. So I think probably better for me to actually work from the other end and come forward so I can actually get those flowers on. So let's pop a little horn in the middle here and then I'm going to grab two ears to go on either side. Like so. Just trying to get them positioned right as well. And then, oh, I've just lost my skewer. There it is. We're going to put the pink one in the middle. In fact, that one needs to come back just a wee bit. There it is. So we don't cut into them. There's so our little pink flower. And then we'll put a purple on either side. So that li the little flowers are just a little added extra that I decided to add on. This wasn't actually in Katrina's original design, but I just felt that being a unicorn, it needed some delicate little flowers to go on the little headband that you often get on the unicorn heads. So that's that one done. Pop another one in the middle here. I am really, really pleased with how this one is coming together. Even though that has accelerated and set up quick, I could tell as I was pouring into the mold that I'm still going to get some really, really pretty swirls in there as well. So can't wait to get this one cut open. This is really weird for me today. I'm actually doing this on a Sunday. Now, normally on a Sunday, I'm up at four o'clock in the morning and I'm off doing my Sunday morning markets, which obviously we just can't do at the moment. So this morning I actually had a sleep in. I got in 
got up about 6.30 in the morning and I took Lucy for a walk and then I decided that I was going to make soap today. So that is very, very unusual for me, but I must say I am really enjoying those sleep-ins on Sundays. It's going to be so hard when I actually go back to um, having to get up early on a Sunday morning and setting up my three little gazebos. Well, they're not little, they're actually quite big gazebos for my Sunday morning markets, but I am also looking forward to getting back out there and being able to chat with all my customers face-to-face -face as well. heard me say on some earlier videos that I was really desperate to paint in our house and I have finally been able to start doing that if you follow along with me on Instagram you would have seen we've been painting we've gone from having it as like this sort of really pale brown color that kind of looks like a latte without the coffee in it um, to this really bright white it's really nice clean and crisp hubby has had to have a week off work so i thought while he had that week off i was going to have his help to wash down the walls take down all the bits such as the blinds and photos and things like that and all of the sound systems so i could paint around them and um it's coming up so good we are in one of those houses where unfortunately once you actually start one wall you have to do every wall so I have been able to do the kitchen lounge and dining areas and um, this week we also have someone coming in to actually do the stairwell because it's just a little bit too high for me but I am really really pleased with how the house is coming up it is so much brighter and it's just nice and clean and it's such a satisfying feeling to see like all those dirt marks and things get covered up um, the people before us because um, we've been in the house for three years there was someone in it before us for seven years and there were just a lot of marks um, a lot of holes in the wall as well goodness knows what they were doing in that house but there's lots of little holes and stuff and we've been able to cover all them up and I'm so pleased with how the house is actually now looking but I've also been using this time to do some clean up in the shed and I have got some new products that I am working on as well. So I am really taking advantage of this time that I am being forced to have off. Absolutely loving it. That is coming up so cute. I can't wait to get this one cut open. All right, let's bring you in for a bit of a closer look there. Those little flowers are just so gorgeous on the top there and really do finish that off. I'm going to leave this one sit and set up overnight and then we're going to come back and we're going to have a look at all those pretty swirls that we're going to have on the inside. All right, so we are back to cut into it and look how gorgeous and sparkly it is. I am really loving the sides of this. Can't wait to get it cut open so we can see what this one looks like on the inside. So let's get this one all lined up. Now, I will admit now, just in case it falls off during the camera, as I went to pick this one up, I did knock one of the um, horns quite hard and broke it off, but I have been able to put it back together for the photos using some water, but I'll probably actually keep that bar for myself. We are all lined up and we've missed all the horns, all the ears, and I think only a couple of the flowers will be little casualties. So let's get th cut through this and have a look at what swirls we've got on the inside. All right, so let's take a look at this one on the end here. Um, grab that one there oh and that is really really pretty in there love how those colors have all come together despite how naughty that fragrance oil was as we were pouring and the tops of it that's just so cute I love how this little ear has just bent over just that little bit and those three little flowers really just finish it 
and bring all of those colors through and up into the top there. Really, really pleased with how this one has come together. Now, despite how naughty that fragrance oil has been, it has held up really, really well in this soap. I came out into the shed this morning and all I could smell before I even opened the door up was the smell of bananas, which is what Monkey Farts is all about. So really, really pleased with that. I know that this one is going to hold up really, really well in its cure process as well. So there's a couple more there. So Katrina, I hope you really like how this soap has come up. It is heading off onto the curing rack and as soon as it is cured, I will be sending you a bar of this soap. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to have a go at redesigning your soap. I hope you've enjoyed watching how I made my unicorn dreaming soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And if you've got any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So until the next video, I hope you have a great one and I'll see you then. Bye.